of Lena makes India proud. Confirms India's second medal in Tokyo. Boxes her way to Olympic glory. Destroys world number two in the quarterfinals. Celebrations erupt after historic bout. Go for gold, Lovelina. Well, you're watching our special broadcast, Go For Gold, and I take uh, a special amount of joy in saying it is the women, very strong women, willed women from India who are keeping India's Olympic hope alive. One of them, Lovlina Borgohen, set for a lovely moment at the Tokyo Olympics. Boxer from Assam has made India very proud. She has assured the country of a medal at Tokyo. Lovlina pulled off an exceptional performance in the last eight, ensuring India finds presence on the medal podium. After Mirabai Chandu and weightlifting, here's how the country woke up today morning to a very pleasant sports update. Lovlina Borgohen has made history. The girl from Assam has assured India of their second medal. She will at least win a bronze in her welterweight category after she defeated former world champion Chinese Taipei's Chen Nian Chin. And in the process, she avenged her defeat from the 2018 World Championship semi-final in Delhi. In fact, she was prancing around like a tiger does around its prey, as if she knew she was going to win. The 23-year-old won through a split decision, a 4-1 result in her favour. As when quarter-final She is only the third Indian boxer after Vijendra Singh and MC Maricom to win a medal at the world's biggest sporting event. Her sterling show in the boxing ring will ensure India moves up in the medal tally. While Lovlina was battling her way into the semis, her family was cheering for her in her hometown in Assam. In fact, her father couldn't hide the excitement when he spoke to India today. The entire country is incredibly happy. After all, it is one of their daughters again that has made them proud. Lovlina will now face Turkey's Busina Surmeneli, the 2019 world champion on August the 4th. Will it be bronze, silver or gold? That only time will tell. But it is time to cherish the achievement of a boxer. It is time to say, Lovlina, go for gold. Lovlina Borghoin, remember the name. And come the semi-final day, sit in front of your television sets and pray. Can bronze be better to silver or even to gold? She was stellar against a much fancied opponent. Now she faces the world number one, but clearly for Lovelina, the world is her oyster and 1.3 billion people her strength. With video journalist Shiv Prashant, this is Borya Majumdar in Tokyo for India Today. I want to cut across to my colleague, uh, consulting editor, Borya Mazumdar, who's joining us right now from Tokyo. Borya, what has been exceptional disappointment? We found the silver lining in our girls. Oh, it's been stellar from, from our girls. Uh, Preeti, I mean, PV Sindhu, Deepika Kumari lost out in the quarterfinals, but Lovelina Borghoen, and, and they are not done yet. There's Vinesh Fogart to come. There are plenty more. I mean, there's Pooja Rani tomorrow. Uh, there's Vinesh Fogart. There's, uh, you know, a number of wrestlers. So what the disappointment has been shooting and to a degree archery with Atanu Das also there for tomorrow. I am one who I've said it from the start. I still think this will be our best ever Olympics. We will cross the London tally. And I have not seen anything to say that that's not going to happen. PV Sindhu, the way she took out Akane Yamaguchi, the way Lavlina Borghoen took out a much fancied Chinese Taipei opponent, it's been stellar. Last Olympics, both medals to the girls, Sindhu and Sakshi. Previous one, uh, again, 
in london it was mary and uh, uh, now or oh, again the two medals lovelina and psycho mirabai chanu so fabulous fabulous work and when you think of the northeast priti mirabai chanu and lovelina borghoin what a story of empowerment for the northeast these two girls have been i'm very very happy you know boria stay with me i'm going to come right back because we're going to talk a little bit more about uh, lovelina borghoin well she's created history in tokyo by assuring india of a medal after vijendra singh and mary com Borgen is now the third boxer ever from India to win an Olympic medal. Mind you, a medal for her is assured. Which one will it be is the big question. <laughs> Lovelina Borgohen The 23-year-old boxer from Assam has punched big to etch a name in Olympic history. Hailing from the Baromukhya village of Golaghat district, Lovelina started her journey through kickboxing. And it was only later that she switched to boxing. And not just pugilists. Lovelina had to battle poverty to bask in the Olympic glory. From not having money to buy a boxing kit to traveling in the train compartment toilet, Lovelina left no stone unturned to realize her Olympic dream. हाँ, starting में तो बहुत डरती थी, लेकिन धीरे-धीरे वो डर खत्म हुआ है boxing में आने के बाद. जब से मैं खुद के ऊपर विश्वास करने लगी, खुद मतलब खुद को विश्वास करने लगी, लोग जो भी कहे कोई मुझे फर्क नहीं पड़ता है. बस मुझे Olympic में goal लेना था. She was first spotted by the Sports Authority of India during trials at a high school, and was selected by renowned coach Padum Boro, who began training her in 2012. Her game developed with time, and she went on to represent the country in the 2018 Gold Coast Commonwealth Games. This was after she claimed a gold in the India Open and bronze medals in the Asian Championships in Vietnam and President's Cup in Kazakhstan. The same year Borgoin earned a bronze medal on debut at the World Championship in Delhi and added another bronze in the next edition in Russia a year later. She was conferred the Arjuna Award by President Ramnath Kovin in 2020. Lovelina's Olympic dream suffered a big blow when she tested positive for coronavirus and had to miss a crucial Europe tour before the mega event. But like a champ she recovered in time and says that the fight with covid only made her stronger. Years of blood, sweat and tears. She punched every hardship to show that you can scale great heights with sheer grit and determination. Sports Bureau India today. All right, Vio. So that story of grit now playing out on the stage in Tokyo. Bora, Bora, I want to bring you back into this conversation now. The semi-finals for Lovelina. What are her chances against the Turkish boxer? You want the real answer? The real answer is uh, she's the underdog and a big underdog. Because I was there in the stadium to watch uh, Surmeneli. uh and and she is terrific you know she has this quirky thing you know she will jump like a frog uh when she approaches her opponent she has these antics and she's obviously the world champion in 2019 borghoin has her task cut out but you know what this is also the night of the underdog novak djokovic just lost his singles and also his mixed doubles uh ashley barty the wimbledon champion has lost naomi osaka has lost simone biles did not compete So the point is the underdog is reigning supreme in Tokyo. Why not on 4th of August when Lovlina Borghoin takes center stage against a much fancied world number 1 from Turkey? And in Lovlina's case the world is a royster. She's already done that. Mission accomplished. Pressure is on the Turkish girl because she has the expectations. Lovlina would fight fearless. That is why I will keep fingers crossed. I know she is the underdog, but I will be there in the stands to shout for her because to Tokyo is the story of the underdog. Well, you know that shout uh, would be echoed back in India by many who would be watching that match very, very keenly, Borya. But I want to, meanwhile, shift focus uh, to the other golden girl uh, of India, who's doing the country proud. India's number one shuttler, P.V. Sindhu, needs to win one more game. 
to confirm at least a silver medal at this year's Olympics. The 2016 Rio silver medalist will be aiming to go one better when she gets on the court next for her big semi-finals match. Here is how Queen Sindhu stormed into the last four. India's PV Sindhu is only a victory away from ensuring India gets a medal in women's badminton singles. Sindhu defeated Japan's Akane Yamaguchi in straight games in the quarter-finals. With this, India's hopes of winning a first-ever Olympic gold are still alive. The 26-year-old who won a silver in the 2016 Rio Olympics defended brilliantly and rode on her attack to outclass the fourth-seeded Yamaguchi. She won 21-13, 22-20 in a 56-minute quarter-final clash. While Sindhu won the first game comfortably, the second was quite a tight contest. After Sindhu took a six-point lead in the second game, Yamaguchi rode back and then she went ahead 2018. But Sindhu had saved her best for the last. She didn't just save two game points, but won the next two to win the game and the match. Sindhu is yet to lose a game at the Olympics so far. A feat she'll hope continues when she faces number two seed Tai Zhu Ying for a place in the final. Sports Bureau India today. All right, let's cut across back to Borea. Borea now, PV Sindhu, the queen as of now. Uh, you know, what a streak she's had till now. What are her chances against the number two seed from Chinese Taipei? She hasn't uh, quite lost a single game so far. So she's clearly not the underdog here. She is the underdog and a big underdog. Tai is by far uh, the favorite for this particular match. There are certain players who are bogey players. And Tai Zuing is one such for PV Sindhu. In Rio, Sindhu took out Tai, but this is a very different Tai. I mean, Tai Zuing, the way she played against Rakhachok Intanon today evening, we were very intently watching that game. Deception, that's what the strength of Tai Zuing is. But will you rule it, uh, you know, can you say that PV Sindhu, you know, will not be able to win? Absolutely not. Sindhu has mastered new strokes. Sindhu looks physically and mentally at her best. Sindhu has incredible resilience. Sindhu has incredible understanding of the court. More importantly, been there, done that, has won an Olympic medal. Tai does it. So it's, it's going to be a contest. I mean, yes, Sindhu goes in as an underdog again. But as I said, Tokyo is the story of the underdog. Now, let me say this. If she wins tomorrow, I don't think there's anybody in this competition who can stop Sindhu. So everything will boil down to that contest tomorrow evening at the Musashina uh, Sports Complex where Sindhu takes on Tai Zuing. That's actually the gold medal match for her. Because Chen Yufei or He Bin Jia, the other two semi-finalists, I don't think will be able to stop Sindhu if she makes the final. Well, let's just hope that happens, uh, won't we? Then... Uh... Disappointed as well, uh, disappointment in the form for India on the day where world number one Deepika Kumari faltered on the big stage. Deepika lost 0-6 uh, in the quarterfinals against An Sun of South Korea who went on to clinch the gold medal. Her third at this year's Olympics, Deepika never looked comfortable against the Korean who kept shooting perfect tens every now and then. The Indian archer on the other hand shot four sevens and could never recover from those scores. Meanwhile, a lot was expected also of shooting Manu Bhakar at this year's Olympics, but the young Indian Marks woman failed to land a medal this time around. My colleague spoke exclusively to Manu some time back. Manu, uh, you would be already aware that you know ever since you've uh, landed in Tokyo, uh, there's a lot of controversy happening, you know, uh, behind the scenes uh, in the build-up to the Olympics. Does that actually play to, into your mind what has happened, especially regarding your coach? Firstly, I have been off social media since four or five months now, so I don't have a major clue of what is going on. Mm -hmm. But uh, about the coach thing, yes, I had a lot of negativity in my life, in my shooting career and my life as well, personal life as well and my family as well, um, three or four months back. And it was, um, it was very negative, it was very depressing also. And But now um, it's at least positive in my life and I feel good and happy about everything. 
बट यू नो एट द लास्ट मोमेंट योर कोच डजेंट ट्रेवल विद यू द फेडरेशन टुक द डिसीजन बिकॉज आई टोल्ड दैम एंड दे ऑल्सो रियलाइज विद टाइम दैट एवरी थिंग वॉज गोइंग नेगेटिव विद माई लाइफ द पीपल हुम आई ट्रस्टेड द मोस्ट सम हाउ ट्राई टू पुल मी डाउन एंड because of their maybe personal benefits or something but um i was on my face also told to um just you know pull back so there was a lot of negativity in my life but yeah. uh, we are actually here talking about jaspal rana who was the pistol coach and uh, was with manu uh, for the longest time but uh, just when the olympics uh, were about to happen uh, the nrai took a decision to relieve him of his uh, duties as far as uh, manu was concerned mentally how much did that affect leading into these games leading into the uh, olympics because everybody was expecting a medal perhaps from you i think every everything was pretty much the same i had um, short few competitions also without him uh, um lot of lot of competitions actually where he was no nowhere in the picture at all not just this year but last year also and um in 2018 my first world cup that was i had no coach then so it's not like i have been succeeding uh, with somebody with somebody support all uh, in the row and um, i was perhaps very excited and very very looking forward to the games but um i think i was trying way too hard to win to win for my country and maybe that doesn't work for me okay, because you know we know the stories uh, we saw in fact that uh, image we have that uh, picture also that um, uh, jaspal rana is wearing that uh, t-shirt and that text message that you had sent out to him i had never sent okay. anything i told you i was off off social media for a very long time and my mother might have written it cuz she is a very emotional person okay. and uh, the yeah. way she saw that he hurt me during the world cup and he literally uh, was there but not really there he um, i had no other coach then and uh, whenever i was looking for somebody to help me he was uh, there behind somebody else but not behind me and uh, when i told him about it he was like he did not have the accreditation card so he was there with somebody else but not with me wasn't that silly of uh, what you know somebody of his age and stature what he did i think a uh, few of um, few people asked me about the message and i told them i did not write it and uh, um i i did not think about it whether it was silly or not kyunki i don't think i have to think about that the thing that i didn't even do why would i think about it Well, that's the kind of stuff you don't quite want to watch on an Olympic stage. But uh, appreciate you joining us, Borea. We're going to be back with you tomorrow, and let's hope uh, all fingers crossed that match with PV Sindhu goes well. Yes, fingers and toes crossed. Uh, uh, you have a good night. We'll see you tomorrow, and uh, good luck to PV Sindhu. With that, it's a wrap. While India today is leading the Olympic coverage, we were first with every news break and got the exclusive interview of all our super sports stars.